Hello guys, so it's that time of the month, we're back again and here right now I'm still kind of late for work and I decided to be even more late by starting the podcast and introducing you our next artist. So basically this month we're going to make a special edition, um, it's going to be a podcast about the upcoming event called Sonic Playground. And we're going to focus on all the artists showing up that night and playing along with us. So I'm going to start with an artist called Spherical Aberration. If you like ambient, darkness and ethereal voices with a lot of reverbs and delay and a kind of very transcendent karma, I'm quite sure that you're going to love this. Mm. I had the pleasure to check this artist out for like some weeks ago in a small coffee and I was literally blown away, like it was a real sonic experience, really deep, really fulfilling, I was like, I could feel it straight in my body, it was really intense, so I'm expecting that girl to bring a huge show during that day at that venue because, yeah. That should be that should be an experience. So I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna try to be on time at work now, and I see you in a bit. Cheers, guys.
Hey guys, welcome from Switzerland as well to the new episode of Strom, our vlog. And Gion just told you that this episode is kind of special. We are presenting all the artists that are going to play at the Sonic Underground event in Copenhagen. And yeah, I'm super happy that I'm part of this little family as well. And I can't wait to present you the tracks that I've chosen. Sonic Underground is something special to me because um, the idea was originally born with Atlas Castle before the Corona pandemic happened. And um, yeah, we all know what what happened in the meantime. We had to cancel the event and we made a little project out of that called Garage. And, um, but now it finally happens and I'm super proud to take the plane in a couple of days only and work on my set um, to get finalized for it and rock the show. <laughs> that will be super fun and also to meet all the people in person and uh, spend some time with you guys. Super happy about that. But for now, let's start with some music that I've selected and the first artist that is also playing in, in Denmark is uh, Adam. And um, yes, I've presented a track from him in the last show as well and I have uh, the honor to present a track that's called Interwoven. This track is from 2020. It's a little classic. And um, I selected because of the super chill mood that this track gives you. Um, and also the drum design is pretty tight. I like the clap and I like the, the bass drums and um, the whole arrangement is feeling in heaven. It's eight o'clock in the morning here in Switzerland. And uh, this is a perfect track for me to wake up and continue the show very soon. Enjoy item with Intervoven.
Hey guys, so I hope you're doing awesome. It's currently five o'clock in the afternoon. It's pretty much dark outside. Winter time is coming and I don't know about you, but winter is clearly one of my favorite time of the year. I cannot explain why, but I just like to drive around with my bike and just enjoy the city at night while just listening to music and going to work or doing my stuff. So yeah, that was a little bit about me. And now I was thinking that we could play a track from my Danish friend called Yukio Bergholt. This man is playing, I would say, mostly dub techno and melodic techno and sometimes some more experimental stuff. Right now we're going to listen to a remix from him called Square One. It's a remix from a Ukrainian friend called Fedor Chakev, or sorry, Tkashev. And I hope I said it right, my friend. And yeah, basically, that's one of the track I really like from Yukio. I really enjoy the melodic techno part of the music and like the mix with um, Fedor um, pads and textures is just really beautiful and really working well and it's really driving and groovy and sounds just good and melancholic all at once. The kind of music I really enjoy and really like so I really hope you do too. Let's go for it. I'm gonna go home now while you guys are listening to some music. Take care. See you soon.
Yeah, welcome back, guys. And um, yes, I can't do the show without presenting a track from the man <laughs> of the time. Um, of course, I'm talking about our one and only Atlas Castle. <laughs> my cat is destroying my camera setup. Um, yes, we have a cat. Let me introduce to you Rocco. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to, going to destroy my dip, my recordings. Anyway, back to the topic. <laughs> um, Atlas Castle is um, is somebody who I know since a long time. I think he he texted me once on SoundCloud, and then we get to know each other a little bit, and we follow each other since um, those time. I think it's like four or five years ago. But um, we never met in person because of Corona. So um, I'm super happy to meet this guy finally um, and spend some time with him and get to know his city and um, his, uh, his life. So super happy about that. And um, the track I've chosen from Atlas Castle is from his latest album that's titled Patterns. Um, he developed musically in a direction that is, um, he titled it techno, I think. And, um, yeah, I like this direction a lot. It's pretty danceable. So the set that we are going to hear in, in Urban 13 will be pretty danceable, I guess. And, um, yeah, the track that I've chosen is a uh, pattern four, um, simply because he highlighted this one on his website. I thought all of the patterns were nice. Um, but he highlighted this one, so I've chosen this. <coughs> and um, yes, I like the drums and I like the, the melodies he's using without losing his own touch on all of the tracks. So um, yeah, I would suggest just to have a listen. This is Atlas Castle, pattern four.
Hey guys, so here we are again. So quite a playlist, right? I really like what we're proposing today and this shout out to the world people coming to Sonic Playground. I think it's like kind of an amazing concept. I'm just super happy actually that we are able to hold and work on such an event, having from friends from above coming over, playing with us, meeting in person and just you know, enjoy sometimes doing what we love the most, playing music with the gears and meeting new people. I think it's going to be a super nice concept and project. Or, yeah, at least I really hope so. Anyway, I think it's time for another track. And right now I'm going to feature my good friend from Denmark as well, who's going to play at Sonic Playground, called Songs from Tin Pan Alley. It's my good friend Per. And this man is playing modular music, ambient music. And I think he likes to call it like lo-fi music covered in dust. And that's pretty much a good description about what this man is doing. Like taking samples, piano and keys and coming with beautiful and mellow tones. And it worked pretty well all together. It sounds good. And I know that when I need to relax, need to just sit down and and chill, I would generally listen to Paris music because it works pretty much on me. And even though I'm as well pretty much of a punk hardcore and metal dude, even though I play maybe techno sometimes, the ambient style, the ambient music really has a big effect on me. So we're going to listen to a track called Covered in Snow. I think it's from one of his latest album called the endless walk towards a settled mind if you haven't listened to it yet you should do so because it's a beautiful work and if you are into ambient and modular music this is spot on all right so i will let you on that one and see you soon take care guys
Next up, I will bring an artist from the faster fraction to you. The title is Go Easy On Me and it's produced by Borenstein. Borenstein is a techno producer from Denmark who just released his very first EP on Petit Victory Collective titled Vague Intentions. If you haven't heard, I will recommend it to you. The four tracks are a very good produce and um, I think we're going to have a very nice live set and we're going to have a lot of fun listening to Borenstein at Urban 13. Um, I have chosen this track because it has a very rough um, and pretty industrial um, take. Uh, I like these, um, I like the, the sound design of this track a lot. And it's also the speed is very, very uh, pushing me towards um, Denmark. So enjoy Warrenstein and um, see you in a bit, guys.
and here we are again so we are gonna go for one last track for me and for this one i choose none other than my good mate my good friend my good collaborator and my partner in crime if i can say so 59 palin i can matthias um i had to choose one track from the man because Basically, he is our headliner that night. He's going to be playing like as the main name. And I'm just super thrilled and excited to have him here with us that night because I would say that it's the work from a long time. I tried to have Matthias back in Denmark, I think for two years ago. And then you may know what happened, but Corona kicked in and everything went just plugged and settled. It didn't work out. So we had to postpone everything and start over. So yeah, I think it's going to be amazing to finally get to meet Matthias in person and welcome him in Copenhagen and be able to just enjoy a cup of coffee together, play together, share music and I don't know, brainstorm on what life has to offer to us. And yeah, just being able to finally get out of the virtual world to just, yeah, get to hang out face to face and meet him in the real world. That's going to be something. So I'm pretty much looking forward to it. That next track is called Pink Fury Monster. It's one of Matthias' latest release on Ben Camp. And I don't know, I really like this track. And I need to say that lately I've been impressed and I really enjoyed Matthias. I would say new direction, maybe not new, but definitely more melodic. I think Matthias has been exploring more and more with like melodic textures and like all those pretty well defined and melancholic melodies going through all the tracks that he's playing live and trying out and working on. So yeah, I think it's worth a shot and I'm pretty much excited and looking forward to hear him playing the songs live because... I think on a big sound system, in a big venue with people hopefully dancing to the music, that's going to be such a, a nice experience to experience live, actually, see live. Sorry, I'm super tired. I had a long day, but I really wanted to share that last track with you guys. So that was that was it for me for this month. Um, I have some ID for December. I haven't talked about it yet with Matthias, but maybe we can talk about it after the show and let us know what you think in the comments. But I was considering making a special podcast next month where Matthias and I maybe are together here in Copenhagen and we could show you some insights of Sonic Playground, some insights of what we did here in Copenhagen together and yeah, just Take it as it comes and make it easy going for you guys and show you what the whole concept and party is about. So if you're up for it, let some comments and tell us what you think. All right. I'm going to stop here and I'll see you next month. Take all good care and thanks for tuning in as always. Hey.
Yeah, pink furry monster. Thanks a lot for the nice introduction, Gio. And yes, we are coming to the end of tonight's show. Um, I'm looking forward to meet all these fantastic artists in person very soon. And um, I hope we can record some parts of the show and present it to you later um, for everyone who will not be able to join the event uh, to give you some impressions of it. So I'm looking forward to everything that's coming up very next. Um, I have one more track for you um, from an artist who is not attending the event. Maybe he's coming as a guest. Um, but he recently joined the collective. His name is Schollinger and it's a drum and bass producer. And I have selected a track that's titled Dialogue. Um, have a listen. It's pretty, um, it's full of energy. It's a very drum and bassy. It's, um, pretty fast. And I like the, yes, I like, simply like the energy. And I thought it's a nice closing track for today's show. Um, keep in mind the next and the last edition of Strom will air on December. Oh, I forgot, I forgot the date. Let me quickly check it out. But it's the third Sunday of December. It's December 18th. Save the date. It will be the last show of 2022. And um, we will be happy to uh, chat with you. And if you like the show, leave us a comment, send us an email. Um, you can direct message Atlas Castle or myself as well. Um, if you have suggestions for the next show, maybe you have ideas or maybe you have an artist that you want to hear, let us know. Um, we are open for your inputs. So um, thanks a lot for watching and for chatting with us. And um, here is Schollinger with Dialogue. And we see us very soon, guys. Bye bye from Zurich.